Hey folks, it's Lostro here, and welcome back to LST Plays, and we're playing more Unravel. So, um, hopefully there's not going to be any uh, killer hamsters in this episode, we'll soon see. But uh, I think we're at the end of our little um, desk here, so with Thistle and Weeds, of course, I'm just going to run down all of these levels again. Um, the Sea, Berry Wine, Berry Wine, ah, that's the second time I've said that, Sweet Berry Wine! And um, then up here we had um, Mountain Trek, which was a really cool level, and... Um, I didn't actually have to edit it too too much, so that was pretty cool. And then I think we're over here, so what have we got? So, how much is enough? It's not that one. Oh, we've got one here. This this is probably going to be us, so let's see. Let's start at the bottom. Off the rails. Why do I have a feeling that there's a train involved in this? <laughs> oh my god, no. We get chased by a train, perhaps. So we've got a windmill. D, D, love, D heart K. And then, two women? I think it's two women. Okay, I don't know if this is the, the kids growing up. Maybe it was one of the kids, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, lovely ferns. That is just, every time you start a game or a new level, I'm just always just completely blown away by just the little sort of intro to the level. Just the little, the first sort of impressions you get of each level is just really nice. Some really lovely god rays going on. That's always welcome. This is really pretty. Oh. Oh dear. Train tracks. I don't think they've been used in a while though. It's pretty cool. They're sort of rusted. No, not much going on. I wonder what happens if the train goes over the um, the yarn. Probably not much. What have we got? So this is... Well, it's a little bit different than the picture. Maybe they did more than one. D, D plus K. And a little heart. It's definitely two women though, or two girls. Okay. No puzzles yet. Just a nice intro to the level, which is pretty pretty nice. So I hope you enjoyed the last part. I did waffle on a bit about platformers and stuff. And uh, I'm going to do some more in this, so don't worry. <laughs> Until somebody tells me to shut up, I'm just going to keep talking. Oh, no more birds. I'm just going to keep talking about stuff that's maybe upcoming, I thought, in this, this uh, episode. Let you know what's happening in the channel. A little bit more, anyway. Let's see. We've got a little puzzle first, though. If I can work this out, and then we'll start our tart. We'll start. We'll tart. We'll start talking. Let's get up here. I think this is going to be pretty easy. This one. I think we just push this down, and then it does something. And then we've got. We tie it here. We tie it here. Tie it, uh, no, that's not right. Okay, let's try it again. Right, let's tie this off first, and then we'll start, we'll see what's on the other side, and then we'll maybe start talking about stuff. Yeah, that's right, should keep it secure, let's just unho unhook that. The broken bridge. Okay, that should be easy. Right, off we go. Oh, we've got a button. Oh dear, am I going to obsess over this one? How are we going to get this? I don't know. I'm since eight. So, um, the uh, the next few videos that are going to come out, I'm probably going to focus on this and try and finish this. Um, I've been sort of slogging away at getting, you know, some the videos sort of recorded and then try and get them out as quickly as possible, but I don't particularly want to put just crap out on YouTube, so here we go, we've got a little log. I, uh, I'm trying not to just put them up in their raw format, I'm trying to edit them a little bit, make them a bit, sound a bit nicer anyway, try and make my voice sound as best as it possibly can, even though I don't have a particularly nice accent. I don't think, anyway. Um, oh, oh dear. Yeah, I could see that. I, mean, I think we're meant to maybe, maybe try that from a different angle. I sort of, I think I was pretty worried about getting caught in the, um, oh dear. Oh dear. And the little hook comes off. Right, brilliant. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we're going to do plenty of Unravel. Um, I'm, I've been working on the... Have I just done the same thing again? Hopefully not. Come on. Oh my god. Right, here we go. I've been working on the next part for Bloodborne. Uh, me and Skillfully just got up to um, the Orphan of Kos. So if you've been watching that series, expect some more soon, but um, the next episode is going to be special. 
because there is a lot of salt in that episode. Um, <laughs> I don't want to spoil it, but just keep an eye out for it, and uh, hopefully you'll be ent as entertained as I was trying trying to edit it. Um, absolutely love Bloodborne at the moment. It's just such a great game. Brutally, brutally tough, but really, really good. Oh, looks like we've got another puzzle here. Looks like a gate. Perhaps we've got to get a gate open here. Let's see what's this. Nothing here. Can't push. The, I th maybe thought maybe the logs did something. No. Let's see. Um, maybe hook it onto the thingy there. Oh, don't be drowning. I love the water drips off the yarn as well. You just see it when it dips into the water. You get like a little bit of a trail coming off it. There's a wee dragonfly. Look. At it. Right, let's get up here and see what this does. What do you do? Oh. Hmm. This looks promising. Yeah, it's turning that way. I wonder if it turns. Does it turn this way? Oh. I'm just falling down. So yeah, we're going to get some more Bloodborne done. I want to get Bloodborne sort of out of the way. Um, or get the DLC out of the way anyway, at least. Um, we've been playing away through it. And I think we've gotten, we've done pretty well so far. But we are stuck. At... Um, some nasty, nasty bosses, so you're going to see some of that uh, soon. Here we go. Easy peasy, that one. There we are. Right. Oh, thought it was going to get stuck there. Here we go. Right. What are we doing with this log? I think we've got to maybe follow it. Possibly. Oh! No, this isn't right. Um, It's just going to keep going. Oh, dear. Right, let's um, let's just try and get up here and see where it's going. Because I think we're gonna. Oh, there's a button. Right. Okay, so you're supposed to jump down there really quickly and, and get the the button. I think we can probably get that. Let's see if I can do an epic jump. Can I get the button and then s swing back and and not go not drown? <laughs> Since I, right, come on. Yeah. Come on. Bit more. No, don't touch the water. Here we go. Here we go. We're doing it. Yeah. Look at that. Ninja skills right there. So yeah, I want to get the DLC out of the way and um, get the uh, get it all sort of finished because um, obviously Dark Souls Three is coming out. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit in a, a little bit. Okay. So yes, two girls together. It must be one of the kids from the must be somebody from the you know that the old lady obviously knows otherwise it's just random if she's got these memories of two women um in her house but maybe she's one of them i don't know it depends how long ago it was uh this is all sort of set let's see okay we checkpoint brilliant oh we've got a big giant machine okay this might be the same as the uh the smaller one there we'll soon see See what we can do. Oh, there's a little lever up there. Let's see what that. Let's see what that is. Can we grab that? Oh. Um. Do I have to attach it to that? Hmm. Let's just uh, let's tie that there. And then we'll jump over and see what that does. So yeah, I've been playing Dragon's Dogma as well. Hopefully you're you're following. It's a great wee game. I don't think it gets enough, uh, it's gotten enough love. It just sort of came out and not a lot of people seem to be, uh, oh dear, what is this doing? Oh, it's, is it going to wrap the yarn around it? Possibly. I don't really know what I'm doing. It is, it's wrapping the yarn. Oh, I'm going to need to do this quickly. Right, that should be it. What's that do? Oh. Ah, okay, that's pretty cool. We've got the awesome... Celtic jiggy music going on as well. It's good. Okay, well that was short and sweet. Let's see what we've got through here. Oh dear. Oh, this isn't going to be good, is it? Right. Um, I'm guessing I can't... I wonder if I was supposed to... Oh dear, that was quick. <laughs> I wonder if I was meant to go above... Um, 
think you're meant to go down below and then we'll sort of see. There's a checkpoint above me, so I wonder if we go across and then maybe it loops back on itself. Oh, right. Oh, so close. So yeah, hopefully you're following Dragon's Dogma as well. It is a great wee game. I'm really enjoying it, I have to say. I'm just playing it slowly. I'm, I'm not going to be able to sort of pump the parts out for that because it is quite a long game, but I am planning on... Uh, Making concentrate, concentrate. Here we go, here we go. I'm planning on making the parts a little bit more sort of compact and doing something with the audio because um, I'm not too happy with the, the sound quality out of the, the game I'm getting. I want to try and make it a little bit better. So here we go. Spinning wheel of death there at the end. Jesus, not messing around in this level. No hamsters, just a lot of machines trying to kill you. Whoa, 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 whoa. don't be dying. Don't. What's the one thing you didn't want to happen? <laughs> and then I go and do it. Jesus. Right, come on. It's really hard. The momentum's really hard. It keeps sort of throwing me or something. It's... Right, here we go. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I could see me dying quite a lot here. Right, let's just concentrate for a minute. Let's get it across. And then we'll start... We'll start flapping the gums. Talking rubbish. Oh. Come on. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, this is going to be such a failure. Well, of course I can do it first time now. Off we go. Go. Oh my god. No. How am I doing this first time? I'm not... Here we go. Let's keep going. There we go. Just the best thing to do in situations like that is just go as fast as you can. Rip the band-aid off. What do we got up here? No more spinning machines of death, please. Oh, we've got a moving part. Must need to create a wee bridge here. Let's tab it here and tab it there. There we go. So yes, we're, we're getting through Dragon's Dogma. I'm going to hopefully do something with the parts, make them a little bit shorter, just because I think it is dragging out a little bit. So Let's... um. Just have a quick look. No. Okay, so it obviously goes in there. That keeps it up. And let's just check down here. And there is. There's a little button. Let's see if we can get this without dying now. So if I just hoof it down gently, gently. There we go. And I'm dead. Right. Brilliant. At least we got the save there. So and we we don't need to recollect the part. So that's good. So yeah, Dark Souls 3, where do I even begin? So excited. Um, Dark Souls 3 is coming out in one month, three weeks and four days as I'm playing this. So it is not that long and I am very excited. Little seesaw. Alright, completely forgot what I was doing there so I'm going to edit the part there I think. I, uh, I just completely forgot what I was actually doing. Couldn't even work out what it, how to get up there. So um, yes, even though I had, I knew that this was here. I don't know what I was thinking. So I'm gonna edit that bit, that bit down a little bit. <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't look too bad. But um, back to Dark Souls 3. Um, yeah, it's coming out so so so, so soon, and um, I think it's probably gonna be a very long series for me and probably skillfully and anyone else on PC we can try and convince to play the game. Another game that's coming out that I've got my eye on is the the the, 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 the not that one anyway. The division. Um it's out I think at this is it out this month? No it's out in March I think. And um next game by big game by Ubisoft. I haven't got high hopes for it, but I really like the setting. I think the setting is really interesting. Um, there was a graphic novel. What's this do? Oh, okay. So I need the wheel for something else. I was a big, big fan of a graphic novel series called DMZ. And um, it's it's all set, or set in New York. New York is like a um, demilitarized zone um, after some... Uh, bit of like a civil war in America. It's an amazing graphic novel series. I strongly urge you to go and check it out. Even just Google it and then just read it, you know, on, online. But having the printed version and just, it, it's so well written and I could seriously see them making it into a film or a TV series of some description. I think it would be great. 
So yeah, it's it reminds me of DMZ, and I've got to play it just to sort of I don't know, just to, just for the sort of um, the locale and everything about it just really interests me. So I'm going to check that out. So you can expect to see something from the division. I'm not 100% sure on what I'll do if I'll do a full series. Um, it seems to be like a, a sort of almost like a MMORPG set in sort of oh let's just pop that in there then I think set in a sort of Assassin's creed -y sort of world so it's going to be sort of open world but not too open like an MMORPG but certain elements from Destiny I think and, and games like that are going to be sort of involved so we'll be checking that out at some stage anyway oh what have we got here Little rock. Oh, this looks like it's going to be for something. Oh, what have we got here? Don't know what that does. The rock's obviously for something, but let's just check out. Oh, it can't be pulled. Let's just check out what's over, what's over here. Do that do anything? Nope. Involves the rock. Okay, rock. Where are you going to go? Down here. Okay. And we can't get it back up, right? So it's obviously meant to go down there. Let's see what is over here. What's this all about? So we're going to go up. Hmm. Don't know how we're going to go up. Right, let's see what we can... Uh, See what we can do with this rock. Does that do anything? Nope. Can't pull it. Jump up and down. Nope, it's not going to do anything. Hmm. This is a strange one. Oh, if I push it over here. Ooh! Ah, okay. Right, I see what you got to do here. Very good. So let's just, can we pull this back? Yes, we can indeed, cool. Let's just pull it back and then I think we're meant to tie this bit and create like a bit of a rope. So let's in see, there we go. Perfect, so I should be able to climb up this now. I think we need this bottom bit though, so we'll just untie that. Up we go. Um, something else I've been sort of planning, or I've been nudging somebody to do, um, is a, a f another friend who is um, on YouTube, and he's called The Commander, and uh, I'll leave a link in the description below, you can check out his channel, you can check out what he's doing. Um, I think he was playing XCOM 2, I'm waiting for him to put up some XCOM 2 videos soon, hopefully they'll not be too much longer. But um, I've been talking to him about doing a Space Engineers part. So if you haven't seen Space Engineers, that'll be really good. Cool. Okay, that's handy. Um, I, I was sort of thinking about doing a series whereby we um, do like a build-off. Space Engineers is... Oh, oh dear. Hold on, let's just concentrate for a minute and just see where this goes. Oh, don't be falling. Can we get back up? There we go, right. Oh, run away. And again, we're going to get boulders. No. Oh, right, hide. Whoa, that was really close. Right, we're nearly at the top. So, yeah, we've been talking... Well, I've been talking to him about doing a part... Or, a, um, like, a build-off in Space Engineers. So, you basically, you build a spaceship. And, um, similar to Minecraft, it's made out of blocks. Except it's much, much better looking. The graphics are very good but they are very demanding on your machine and um oh dear what's going on is that the end of it oh, i have a bad feeling about this right here we go oh 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 oh, oh. ah i see smarts it's more more coming no okay let's go up <laughs> Our checkpoint. Oh, this isn't going to be good, is it? What's going on here? Okay, so the two girls came up this way. Hopefully this doesn't lead to one of them dying or something. That would be 
don't think so. It's obviously pictures, you know, that it's referencing, so. Oh, got some slidey rocks. Another checkpoint. There's loads of checkpoints up here, isn't there? Whoa! Oh, <laughs> landslide. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, that clips you there. I thought I could maybe hide there. You can't duck in this game. There's no duck button. Let's try that again. What are we going to do? Can we try to get... No. Oh, no. It definitely crushes you. And uh, we can't escape it. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to play, I'm going to try and explain the rest of my idea. So <laughs> this is going to be such a failure. So saying to him, if we did like an hour build-off or like half an hour build-off, you definitely can't hide there. And... Um, Take some time to each build um, a ship, and then you basically have just like a. That's a bit, you can surf them, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's too far. Um, and then we're going to have like a bit of a death match and see who, sh who build builds the better, the better ship. So if you've ever seen Scrapyard Challenge, it's sort of like that, but in Space Engineers. Let me know what you think below anyway. You can let me know if you think that's a good idea or not. Um, they just recently added in planets into Space Engineers, and. They are amazing looking. You can go from what is happening. Jesus, the size of that rock. You can go from the planet's surface into space. So you can build in space and then fly down to a planet. Or you can build on the surface and then fly out in space. So I've been nudging him for weeks now about this. And I'm flattened again. And um, hopefully he'll eventually take a hint and get it installed and give it a go and we'll have a no nice wee series we can do a wee mini series or something uh oh yes that I thought it was going to flatten me okay right let's uh yeah the commander's from over here so you'll uh similar sort of uh similar accent <laughs> and uh Okay, let's just keep trying. I need to focus, I think, on this. Right, if, what if we went down here? Can we escape it? Is it going to keep coming? <gasps> oh, it is as well. Aha! There we go. It smarted at that time. Right. Let's see what we've got up here. Nope. Is that the... I don't think we can get any higher. Oh, I'm at the end of my tether. Right, okay. Oh, you can sort of stand on that, but I don't think it would have mattered. Boing, boing, boing. So what was I looking for? What does this do? Can you... There's nothing to loop onto over here. Oh! Ah! I see. So maybe that was supposed to stop the rock. Okay, I see ya, I see ya. Okay, oh, we're getting high. I don't know what this is, is this like a bridge or... Sort of like, feels like an observatory or something, or some kind of old derelict building, or... Must be a bridge or something, both with all these wires. Some cabling. Whoa! And that's death. Okay, so you definitely can't fall too far, so let's... See if we can get up here again. Oh, that's so cool. All right, let's see if we can swing across. Oh, and that's death. Yeah, I'm just not getting enough momentum on that, so let's try that again. Shouldn't be too difficult. I just think I'm being a bit of an idiot here. Wee! Hey. Right, so slide down a wee bit. Swingy, swingy. I might need a bit more slack. All right, let's see if that's good. Yeah. Okay, and then I think we just have to jump across. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, that's too high. Oh, just about. I sort of almost hesitated a wee bit too much there. Right. Whoa. Right. I thought we could maybe go left there, but we can't. There's no platform. Across here. Wee. And across again. Oh, oh, oh. No. Let's get it moving. Yeah. No. That's definitely not going to work. Let's see if we stand on it a little bit. Is this going to work? Let's just leave it to settle a wee minute and then we'll... 
Let's see if we can get it now. No. Oh, oh. Don't be dying. Okay. Oh, that seemed to do something. Right. Ah, perfect. So we just had to get it mem the momentum going and stay on one end. Right. Okay. Danger of power. Okay. Nothing here. Yeah, it must be like a bridge or something. Nope, can't go that way, so it's up we go. Then across. Metalworks looks great anyway, it's very... Very nice looking. There's, there is something... Um, there is something really cool about games that um, really spend time on the little details. I think I'm just waffling now, but... <laughs> they've obviously spent so much time on the... Uh, Oh, okay. Can we? Is there anything underneath here? They've spent so much time making that look like rust, is what I mean to say. So, nope, nothing there. And I don't think there's anything on the other side, is there? Nope. Train bridge. Okay. Hopefully, we're not going to get run over here. Oh, okay. So it's like a sort of like the Penny Bridge in Dublin. Ah, so they were putting... People do that when, you know, they love someone and they put a uh, little padlock and... Oh, oh! Oh, jeez, don't be losing that. That would not be funny if it went all the way to the bottom. Oh, that's nice. Infinity, so... The infinity symbol made of yarn. That was a pretty cool level. Bit different, more sort of industrial. And then let's see what the memory is. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the game series so far and the levels. And uh, hopefully you can make a bit more of... Uh, get a bit more of an idea from it that, rather than me sort of talking about it. You could spend a life wondering what lies at the other end of the track. Or you could go and find out. It hurts to let someone go, but sometimes leaving is necessary. Very nice. Alright folks, I'll see you soon. Bye!